Look, I appreciate the suggestion. I really do. I just have no plans to ever watch Game of Thrones. Well, hello there. Old Man Kelly here. Jeff to my friends. You can call me Jeff. Look, I know I haven't been around for a while. I apologize. This summer's crazy. Just have stuff to do all the time. What can I tell you? But I'm back for a vlog. I think this is 91. Hmm. All right. So I'm going to do a little gardening, gardening later on today. I, 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 I'm not, I'm an old man who doesn't do things like gardening, but I did some and I'll show you that in a minute. But first, let me go back to what I was talking about, Game of Thrones. It seems like at least once a week, somebody tells me I should be watching Game of Thrones. Jeff, you should watch this, it's, it's, a, it's fantastic. I'm like, I, I had a friend really told me, he said, posted something on Facebook about Game of Thrones. And I, I said, just as a comment, I've never watched an episode of it. Oh, you really should. No, it's, it's really not for me. Oh, I think you would like it. You should, you should watch it. No, I mean, maybe, you know, I just don't have the time for something like Game of Thrones. I just don't like these stories that continue where you have to watch the next episode, the next episode, then you have to binge watch to catch up. And I would rather watch a show like Kimmy Schmidt or uh, The Venture Brothers or um, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Something quick, short that I can watch, get a quick look quick laugh at and move on and half the time I don't just sit and focus on the TV I've I'm doing something else I'm writing I'm on the computer and it's more background noise so I need something light that I can just take a break from what I'm doing laugh for a minute and go back to it uh, I, I, if I was watching Game of Thrones I'd probably miss huge chunks and have to go back and watch some more anyway I've got a few things here I want to talk about before we get to my gardening project. <clears throat> things that I do like to watch. And these are all uh, DVDs and Blu-rays that my wife has bought me recently. Um, first of all, all the, whoa, all the famous monster movies. The universal ones. Mummy, Frankenstein, Dracula, Invisible Man, Creature from the Black Lagoon, and Wolfman. This is not just the main movie. This is all the sequels, all the everything. They even have all the Abbott and Costello stuff on there. Um, some repeat because like Wolfman was in Frankenstein meets Abbott and Costello. So it's on both those. It's on Dracula. It's on the Frankenstein disc. But what I like about these is the fact that on the main film, the real one, you know, the, 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 like the first Frankenstein movie, the first Dracula movie, there is commentary by a film historian telling you about the film. And I love that. I love commentary, especially when it's, when it's informative commentary. I really do. And since she's bought me those, I've gone through, actually my daughter bought me those. I'm sorry, Pam bought me those. That was a Father's Day present. Very, very nice of her. And I've actually gone through and watched every one of those with and without commentary. And some have two commentary tracks, and yes, then I have to watch it three times. That's how crazy Jeff is. Hmm? Then, the other day, when Amazon had their big sale day, whatever that's called, yep, the first five Marx Brothers films, Coconuts, Animal Crackers, Monkey Business, Horth Buzzers, and Duck Soup. And I, I actually went the media, when I first got, and these have been like remastered supposedly and stuff like that. And when I first got it, I had to watch Duck Soup right away because Duck Soup always makes me laugh. I love Duck Soup. Now I've gone back to the beginning. I just watched Coconuts twice. I watched it with normal and then with the commentary by a film historian, learned a lot. Um, Coconuts is a weird movie because it was lost for years and the version that's available now was pieced together from versions they found. So one minute you're watching some crystal clear video, um, video and next minute it's this really out of focus, oversaturated video because it's all they have. Shame, really. Um, but I love the Marx Brothers and I love listening to the commentary while I watch these films. And now the big one, the one she got me just yesterday, which I haven't, I haven't even cracked open yet. The ultimate Three Stooges box set. 
I haven't, I haven't even looked here. It's 190 shorts, the two, fe two feature films, 28 never before released shorts, and three Columbia cartoons, all in this massive box set. So before I get into my gardening, a little bit more about my vlog here. I don't know what I'm gonna do. My original thought was to do my making of my new short film, movie magic, whatever I'm calling it. Excuse me, it's early in the morning do that on the weekends and on like Wednesday release my vlog but I did that three or four weeks ago and no one watched my vlog when it was released on a Wednesday not that that's a big deal because I only get like a half dozen views anyway but I think I'll do my vlog on the weekends and maybe my movie magic thing on the weekdays but we'll see how it goes right my scripts going well I just finally sent out like the 10th version I'm, gonna, I'm perhaps going to rewrite it again. But the 10th version to all the actors and people involved. And they, I haven't heard back yet by a lot of people. Um, one person that I was asking her if her daughter wanted to star as a lead character got back to me right away. And she loved the beginning. Um, and anyway, we'll talk more about that later. Anyway, so gardening. We got this section of our house that needed work. And let me show you that right now. All right, you can see this mess here, weeds and all. Yeah, we've let this go. We had a garden here five, six years ago. For some reason, it's a weedy mess and it's right in the stairs to our back door. So it looked pretty sad. I started out just digging it up and I found a million rocks and bricks underneath. We've never dug down there before. Um, I found this, this monstrosity. It's like a, a piece of a house stuck underneath the soil. It weighed a ton too. And I filtered all this dirt to get rid of the rocks. You can see all the rocks there. I did use some of those rocks eventually to go underneath. And I found all these bricks buried in the soil, a ton of bricks. I'm keeping the decent ones, throwing away all the broken ones. You can see I'm digging it up more. This is what I was building, wood frames. The bottom one, just part of a frame, because I didn't need a lot. And I, I put these stakes in the ground to try to keep it from falling forward with the weight of the dirt. And uh, it's going to be two levels. There's the, the box I built for the back one there. And you can see I used the same stakes in that one too to keep it sturdy. Then I took about 15 bags of topsoil. And there's the plants. My wife picked out the plants. You see a few hostas, one on each, some coleuses, these big purple and green things that I have no idea what they are. I think the hostas are the only plant that's gonna come back next year. And maybe we'll come back to my garden in a, uh, a few weeks and I'll show you how it's blooming and growing and looking spectacular. And so it's gonna be an ongoing project. I plan to do more with it next year. Hopefully I'll be doing this. Anyway, let me wrap up today's vlog by saying that if you're ever down in the dumps, you know, one of the, do you ever have those days, I'm sure we all do, where uh, there's nothing's really wrong, yet you just feel down and blue, you just don't feel like yourself? Dude, just put on duck soup, that's all. It's hard to feel down when you're watching duck soup. It really is. And if people ever ask me, Jeff, is there a reason for being alive? Is there a reason for all this? I would say yes, duck soup. Anyway, this is Old Man Kelly saying, I'll be back someday, sometime. Talk to you later.